Hi everyone, Ainsley here from Small Fry Creations and today I'm going to show you how we can improve a kitchen from this to this. Let me show you how we did it. For this project we are going to use the Dulux renovation range and from all of our research and reading our number one priority is preparation and cleaning. So we are going to scrub all of our surfaces that we are going to be painting with sugar soap first up. That is going to be our number one job. They tell us that we have to clean everything once, wash it down and clean it again because it must be 100% clean before we start. So that is going to be our first job. This project is 100% doable in a long weekend with a little bit of planning. For materials, hardware and supplies, the total cost was under $1,000. The first step was to remove all the hardware from the doors. Using a Stanley knife, I also cut out all the old silicon and we'll replace this at the end of the project. We could then get to scrubbing the surfaces. As a total side note, I have never used sugar soap to clean before, but man, it's such a good cleaner. We washed all the surfaces and cleaned the sugar soap off with clean water and then repeated again. Once everything was cleaned, we used some 40 grit sandpaper and lightly sanded all the tiles that were going to be painted. The sanding will give a good surface for the paint to adhere to. We did tape around the power points, the sink and the cooktop, however, I wouldn't do this. At the end of the project, we removed the tape and it took some of the paint with it and we needed to go back and touch it up. I would just either be careful when you paint or use a Stanley knife to score around before removing the tape. When it came to removing the cupboard doors, I placed tape on the back side of each door and numbered each one. I would then put tape in the cupboard with the same number as the door. This will make it easier at the end of the project when we're putting the kitchen back together. All right, we've spent about the last two hours cleaning and scrubbing all of the surfaces and we're up to the part where we can start to apply paint. Our plan of attack is to apply one coat of finish to the splashback and then we're gonna take off all of the cupboard doors and we're gonna prime what we need to prime. So we think that is gonna be the most efficient way to work so that we're constantly working and getting this done as quick as possible. So that's our plan of attack. The paint for the backsplash comes with a hardener that needed to be added to the paint and there was no need to prime the tiles. The colour we chose was Dulux White on White in a gloss finish. A big bonus of using the Dulux range is you can tint the paint any colour in the Dulux range, so you have hundreds of colours to choose from. To apply the paint, we were strongly recommended to use these 100ml microfiber rollers with a 4ml nap, so we went with them. We used a paintbrush to cut in and get into the grout lines and then came back through with a roller over the top. We started with the splashback because then it was out of the way and we could move on to the bench top and removing the cupboard doors. All the paint needed six to eight hours between coats, so this sets the splash back onto its drying time while we were busy doing other things. The bench top and the cupboard doors required primer, so that was our next job. We removed all the doors to make it easier to paint, and while I remove the doors and apply the primer, let's go over some other information that I think could be helpful. For the paints that require the hardener, you have seven days to use the paint once the hardener is mixed. We decided at the same time as doing the kitchen revamp, we would also do the bathroom using the same material. I'll be sure to show you some before and afters of the bathroom at the end of this video, but the process was exactly the same. Having the two projects on the go also created no downtime. I spent some time before the project planning the order in which we would do things to ensure we were the most efficient. The main restraint we had was the dry time of the paint, which was six to eight hours. Before calling it a night, we came back through and applied the first coat on the bench top. The color for the bench top was timeless gray in a satin finish. The coverage of this paint was unbelievable. There was no bleed through of the colour at all. I was extremely impressed. It was then time to catch some Z's and get ready for a big day two. It's the beginning of day two and I can confidently say I think we are ahead of schedule. We had a great day yesterday. We got our first coat on our splashback and our first coat on our bench tops. The plan of attack this morning is to tackle the kitchen cupboards and get the first coat on that and also the second coat on these guys in here. And then hopefully by this afternoon we're applying some clear coat and we might be able to wrap up this project by tomorrow afternoon. The first job of the day was to paint the cupboard doors. The colour is the same as the splashback, Dulux white on white, but in a satin finish. The cupboard doors were originally white, however over the years they had discoloured so the paint gave them a fresh look. Day 2 also meant coat 2 for the splashback. 
To get a nice finish, we found taking our time and making sure the roller was running in the same direction across the splashback gave a good result. We also applied the second coat onto the bench top. Again, running the roller lightly over the finish in the same direction meant there was no streaks and gave a great result. Because we made sure we painted the cupboard doors first thing in the morning, it meant that we had already waited our eight hours and late in the afternoon, we could apply the second coat. It was then time to head back into the kitchen. It is the end of day two and we have waited our eight hours and we are up to the point where we can clear coat our splashback and our bench top. So we're gonna mix up a clear gloss, which is happening over there in the background, a clear gloss for the splashback and a clear satin for the bench top. Apply that, leave it overnight, which will easily be eight hours and we'll apply our second coat tomorrow morning. Today is day three and we are going to put the kitchen back together. Our first job is we're going to put the cupboard doors on the top cupboards back on. We're going to apply our last clear coat to the bench top. Then we can come back through and put the cupboard doors on the bottom and apply all the handles. We also have to silicon around the edge to make it look nice and pretty and then we can put some decor items around and we can wrap this project up. Let's get to work. Before putting the cupboard doors back on, we put the handles on. When picking handles, we made sure to choose something that would mean we didn't need to patch any holes on the doors. This just makes the project a little quicker and easier. We went with some modern black handles. Because we numbered the doors at the top of the project, this made putting the kitchen back together a breeze. The last coat of clear could be applied and when dried I came back through with some white waterproof silicon to really round out the project. I would apply a bead of silicon and then use a silicon tool I could come back through and smooth it over. The last step was to dress the kitchen and some decor and sit back and enjoy the finished product. The bench top is recommended not to be touched for seven days so we made sure we were very careful. Now I'm sure like me you're wondering what the longevity of this renovation range is and the honest answer is I don't know. I will come back and check in with the owners and see what feedback they have. I'm keen to see what it looks like a year from now, but for three days work and a thousand dollars, I would say that's money well spent. As promised at the end here, I'll include some before and afters of the bathroom, which also came up great. I hope you have liked this video and if you have, help me out by hitting those subscribe and like buttons and I'll see you on the next one.